Hi, I'm Peter Jacobs. I'm a CE inspector for Blue Peter Marine. And I would like to use my 23 years of experience in this field to help you navigate through the maze of CE directive and ISO standards. And I'd love to help you with this. Hi, and welcome back to our channel on CE inspections. Today, we're gonna talk about the necessary documents that we can download on the IMCR website to do your CE certification. All these documents are free of charge and you will find the link down below. But before we start, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. So first of all, let's go to www.rmci.org and choose certification of boats and components. We will start with the agreement between you and RMCI. Again, click on Certification of Boats and Components, CE Certifications, and go to Download. Click on the agreement and choose Design and Construction Watercraft Assessment Model A1 B, G, or PCA. Now you will find the agreement here. You can fill in your company details and the model you want to certify. Choose CE, UK or both. You can also choose to sign for every model to be built in the future, which will avoid you signing an agreement for every model. And of course, your contact details and website. Next, the application, which you will find under the same download heading. Then choose Boats and Model B or G. This document is more about the specification of the craft. Try to fill it as accurately as you can. It is possible that at the end of the process you have decided for a different model name or that the weight came out differently. In that case, you can just refill a new application when we almost finish with the process. Now that we have agreed on the work to be done and applied for the C certification, we can start with the process. We do that by downloading the checklist evaluation all in one which we find in the Calculation Tools and Checklist. It is quite a large document of 97 pages, which contain the, almost all the ISO standard checklist. Some of them are not applicable. However, I highly suggest to keep it as one document in order to be sure that nothing is missing. If one standard is not applicable, for example hydraulic steering, just write not applicable on the checklist, but keep it in the document. You only need to have a real signature or an Adobe authorized signature on the first page. We will of course discuss this document at length in the separate episodes following this introduction. It's long, but we'll just take step by step. Finally, there are a number of calculations required. For most of the calculation, IMCI has made a spreadsheet to facilitate the process. Please use these spreadsheets and not your own document, as that will only lengthen the assessment procedure. We can find this under Calculation Tools and Checklists. The first calculation is the watertight cockpit calculation. Even if you have an open cockpit, you should still fill 
in at least the sill height as that is required even with an open cockpit. Then we have windows, port light, hatches and door. I draw your particular attention to the la latest requirement for the minimum thickness of the interlayer in the laminated glass, which we will discuss separately as well. Finally, we have the stability sheets, which is different depending on the type of boat you are applying for. You will notice that there is no calculation tool for scantling, as that requires specialized software such as a health count or others. So, um, I hope you found this episode interesting. Uh, I'm sure it's all very confusing and seems like to be a lot of documents, but let's take one step at a time and each episode we will go through the different documents to be filled in and I'm sure at the end of the season you'll be able to apply for CE certification and you'll be a real expert in it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.